Sun Hate Sin, part two, was posted on the Blessed Hope on January 2nd in 2002. This is Amy B. What is truth? Pilate asked the living word of God in the flesh, who stood before him. Pilate had the authority to set Jesus free or to crucify him and he was confident that he was more powerful and important than the man who stood before him. Pride always hindered men from understanding truth. If only Pilate could see the history and the impact that Jesus has made through the past 2,000 years. How his name is known, loved, worshipped by multitudes all the world over, Pilate was literally looking into the eyes of truth when he asked the question, What is truth? in John 18 and 38. I think the same could be said, said today by men and women who have the power to choose about sin in their lives. What is sin? in pride they ask, without really caring if they are sinning or not. All that matters to them is what they feel is right or wrong. Because each person has a different perspective, self can easily become someone's God and feelings become their truth. How many times have you heard it said, I really don't believe it that way when the word of God is shared? Just as in the day of Christ, Some recognize the truth that Jesus taught, his life that fulfilled the thousands of Old Testament prophecies, pointing him as being Israel's and the world's long-awaited Messiah. See Isaiah 53. And others, like Pilate, washed their hands and said, What is truth? What is sin? Simply put, sin is disobedience to God. The Bible teaches us the truth about sin. Every person alive has been guilty of sin. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, Romans 3 and 23. Sin steals. Sin kills. Sin destroys. It brings damage to your soul, which is eternal. The only remedy for sin is acceptance of God's redemption for sin through the Lord Jesus Christ. Sin has wages. It does have a payday. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 3 and 20, or 6 and 23. God's word plainly tells us what sin is. Dear listener, have you read your Bible? The following definition of the word sin is found in the dictionary, Webster's. Sin is number one, an offense against a religious or moral law, an action that is or is felt to be highly reprehensible. Sin is a transgression of the law of God. It is a vitiated state of human nature in which self is estranged from God. Jesus took the penalty for our sins on the cross. He can help us be victorious over the power of sin. If we abide in him and he in us, he will destroy the presence of sin in us. Son, hate sin. Choose the good way, the truth, and the life. These things are found in the Word of God. In Psalms 119 and 9, it says, How can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word. Dietrich Bonhoeffer said, Only he who believes God's word is obedient. And only he who is obedient believes. 
may we say with the psalmist, Thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee.